Hi! You are watching VSDC channel. Recently, many of you have been asking how to create Stinger transitions. If you are on Twitch or on Mixer, you know that Stinger transitions are quite essential for streaming. They are great for hiding camera movements during the broadcast, and they also can add personality to your videos. When designed well, this effect can really make your broadcasts more engaging for the viewers. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of creating your own Stinger transitions step by step. Let's do it! Step 1. First things first, we need to create a blank scene. As default settings, we'll be using a full HD video, 1920 by 1080, 16 to 9, and 60 frames per second. As you probably have noticed already, this transition is quite fast, but it's not short. So we'll set the effect duration at 2 seconds. Step 2. The whole point of creating a Stinger transition effect is to cover the entire scene for a few moments. That's why we'll start with creating a rectangle shape twice as big as the scene. Then we'll need to go to the basic effects window and rotate it counterclockwise to achieve the 30 degree angle. At this point, just by dragging the rectangle around, you should be getting a clear idea of what your transition is gonna look like. See, it appears from the left hand side, freezes in the center for a bit and moves on to the right. Okay, great. Now move the rectangle to the left and make sure it's outside of the frame. Then create a movement vector pointing to the center of the scene. Next, make a click on the keyframe below and go to the properties window to adjust the following parameters. Path start point, yes. Start speed, zero. Drag it a bit more to the left from the center of the video, somewhere like 0.8 seconds. Then create another movement path and duplicate it in the same location. And select the same parameters as for the previous keyframe. Now place the vector slightly to the right from the center at 1.2 approximately. Finally, add another vector, the last one, and point it outside of the frame. Awesome! We've set the keyframes and this is the current result. By creating these keyframes, we've placed four control points. First, the object is outside of the frame. Second, the object is in the center of the scene, stopped. Third, the object started moving from the center. Fourth, the object is outside of the scene again. In other words, between the second and the third points, we've created a pause. Once you've finished with the keyframes, duplicate the layer with the rectangle and paint it any other color. Then open its movement settings and change the position of the second and third keyframes like that. On the preview, you'll see that the rectangles are moving one behind another with their own speed. Third step. All right, we have the transition effect ready. Now let's add your logo, your avatar, what have you. Drag the image to the scene and set its size at one ninth of the scene size. Now we want to make sure that the logo only appears on the main rectangle and it isn't placed over the entire video. To do that, copy the main rectangle on the timeline Make a double click on the logo and place it right there. Then paint the rectangle black and apply inverted mask to it. Beautiful. Now, a static logo looks a bit boring, doesn't it? So let's shake things up a little. From the video effects menu, add zoom. By the way, remember to place the layer with the zoom effect below the layer with the mask. 
and adjust its parameters in the properties window. Change levels from 100 to 100, 120. Otherwise, as the logo gets bigger, it will overlap with all the objects in the scene. Step number 4. Nice! The transition is ready for export. Go to the Export Product tab and select PC among devices. From the video formats available on the right, you'll need MOV. Then open the Edit Profile menu to adjust the parameters of the video. First, you'll need to choose the following profile – High Quality Video H264 AVC. In the Video Settings menu, find Video Codec and select PNG Lossless. Then set the desired video quality and hit Apply Profile. Finally, export your project. And boom! Now you have your own stingy transition effect that you can use for streaming. Did you like this tutorial? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up! And of course, subscribe to our channel. More awesome tutorials are coming very soon.